What's up, YouTube? Dizzy Dale here, and I'm going to be doing a review of the four Ninja Turtles. We finally got them all. I got Leo this Friday when we went Funko Pop on Friday. And we're going to start with Donatello. We'll move all these guys to the side real quick. Start with Donnie. He's number 60 in the line. This side of his box here. And I got all of them but these two, and I really, I mean, if I find them, cool, but I can't find them anywhere. It was hard enough to find the turtles where I am. I don't know about where you are, but here in Missouri, I can't find them anywhere. Like, I'd say eastern Missouri, St. Louis, can't find anywhere, any of them anywhere near St. Louis, pretty much. Find one here and there every, like, so many miles, but that's about it. All right, we got Donnie. Heck yeah. He looks keeping a little, a little spinner spoo. Yeah, he's pretty awesome. Give him a spin. Got his belt all the way around. I love his perfect paint job on the back. <clears throat> Yeah, he's, this guy's got almost a perfect paint job. Perfect. He sides right there on the staff. Just a little bit of green on the staff. Other than that, it's perfect. Not bad. Alright, so there's Donnie. We'll set him back here. And we get out number 61 in the series, and that is Raph. Raphael. This is my personal favorite. It's kind of cool how they have mine, mine and Alyssa's favorites right next to each other in this series. Order. All right. This is a Funko Pop review of the Ninja Turtles. Wow, I never opened any of mine yet, so this is pretty hard to get out. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Come on, Raph. What you, how, you, how are you stuck? Where are you stuck? I've never seen her have this problem. There we go. The pop. He was stuck in there pretty good. There's Raph. My favorite. Yeah, he has an awesome paint job. Awesome. It's almost perfect. A little yellow on the top of his belt, but that's about it. Yeah, he's he's awesome. Ooh, the shell is awesome. I love the shells on these guys. He had a little speck of brown on his hand there from his side. But other than that, they're awesome. He's perfect. Alright. There's Raph and Danny. Okay, two more to go. Two down, two to go. Next we have Mikey. Here's Mikey. He has nunchucks. Number 62. Of course, he's an orange color. stuck in there pretty good these last two try to get out there we go there he is Mikey <clears throat> paint on him could be a little better not bad though not bad at all I got one of the very few Mikey's that has tongue painted I noticed that like in all the review videos I watched there's a lot of Mikey's that his tongue isn't painted. I guess my uh, artist paid a little bit more attention to detail, which I appreciate. That's why I like Funko so much. They have very good artists, and very rarely do you get stumped. Okay, and there's Mikey. Oop, don't fall, Mikey. 
All right, and finally we have Leo. He's the leader now. And he was the hardest one for me to find. I found the other ones pretty much. I've seen two of the other ones a piece at different stores, but I didn't see any Leonardo's. And I have already taken this guy out and done a review on him. All right, here he is. Leo. He's the leader. And he's got a pretty good paint job. Pretty good. Not bad at all. Really, like, the swords and the hands don't flush together. They're perfect. Like, it's green where it's supposed to be green, and it's brown where it's supposed to be brown, and silver where it's supposed to be silver. He's got a really awesome paint job. The only thing I don't like is they kind of put his head in crooked down there. I noticed that on my last video when I watched it. Other than that, he's immaculate. He is awesome. Again, from the back, immaculate. All right. And there we have the four Ninja Turtles. It seemed only fitting that I do these guys first because, you know, they were the first thing I ever remember of my childhood besides Mario. These guys and Mario were the first thing I could remember. My first, you know, things I was like, oh, wow, I love that and got into it forever. It was my whole childhood, these guys. I mean, the Power Rangers was the second part of my childhood. Like, you know, like when I got up into the seven, eights, and nines, and tens. I mean, I still love these guys just as much then. I watched them both religiously, but these guys are what brought me into the whole, like, I guess you could say childhood scene. These guys were my introduction to the cartoons, to action figures, to you name it, stuffed animals. These guys introduced me to that whole world of things. This is my first of everything with these guys. So it only seemed only fitting that I get them and I do a review on them out of box. And I am going to be doing a lot more reviews. I'm going to do, every time I get a full set of the things I want anyway, not a full set, but the ones I want out of the set, all of them, I'll do a review on them. I've got a couple more reviews planned for the future, but they'll, it'll be like one uh, Funko Pop Friday video and then there'll be a one review video every week. And I'm going to try to do that as much as I can. Sometimes I get sidetracked and work gets to me and I have to go to sleep, but... I'm going to be doing this hopefully every day, and I will be posting with this video, at the end of this video, Alyssa's, uh, she went and got her pop with me last Friday, and we didn't get a chance to uh, do a review with her and her pop, so you'll get to see what she got, because she did get something whenever I got my pops last time, so thanks for watching, and I hope you guys like this video, and you appreciate, you know, watching it. Have a good one.